Hi and welcome back. I'm going to talk about how to get through Mercury retrograde in this video. So if you're interested in how to deal with that, please keep watching. Welcome back. I'm going to talk about Mercury retrograde and what that means. I'm not an astrologer, so there will be people who will watch this who probably actually know more about the actual astrology of it. What I look at more is the energy, and Mercury retrograde is when the planets, they stop moving. They don't actually go backwards, but it, it looks like they're going backwards. And when Mercury retrograde kicks in, which it's doing about now, but it's only in the what they call the pre-shadow time, so it's not really intense just yet. But it's a good time to sort of get prepared for it. So Mercury retrograde can mess with technology and things like that, machinery, <laughs> things like that. It can make us a bit retrospective and it can also bring up things from the past like quite often ex-partners or old connections that maybe weren't so flash may turn back up so that we can find different ways of dealing with them. So, um, you know, those are good things to be aware of, that not to be surprised if something like that happens. Um, the biggest one with technology is it's not the best time during a Mercury retrograde to start experimenting a huge amount with your technology. I did that once. I started rebuilding a website during Mercury retrograde and I destroyed it twice. <laughs> so it took weeks. It was insane. So it's probably not a good idea to do manic projects like that. Um, also a really good time to back up your information, back up your computer, back up your phone, make sure you've got everything like that secured and set up. Um, yeah, so try not to do any drastic things with your technology. It's not the best time to give everything a complete renew or start with really new technology. It's, it's better to keep things quite stable and quite um, regular. That doesn't mean you can't do anything. It just means just be aware and if you do decide to do things, make sure you've got everything backed up. It's also not a brilliant time for signing contracts or legal documents. <laughs> so, and if you do, make sure you have a really good look at them because there can be miscommunication during Mercury retrograde communication quite often suffers a bit during that planetary movement like communications not a hundred percent on par and people misunderstand each other so anything in writing like contracts or documents make sure you take some time take them away with you go over them if you don't understand something ask for clarification it doesn't mean you can't sign anything just make sure you know what you're signing and what it is so communication wise, once again, double check that you're understanding each other. If you're having to communicate about important things or deep things, make sure that you're yeah, understanding each other and on the same page because there's a bit of a tendency for people to think they've communicated clearly but there's still this underlying misunderstanding going on so making sure that doesn't happen is a really good idea too um, easy one to forget especially when there's a lot going on um, so yeah communication's another one people popping up from the past that's really bringing up unresolved things like yeah it might be an ex popping up ex partner or ex friend or something like that, just out of the blue, you might all of a sudden get a message or a phone call or contact, which could throw you for a loop if it hasn't been a good thing. If it's somebody you really like hearing from, it's not a problem. But if it's somebody you'd rather not hear from, be a little bit prepared. And if you don't know quite how to react to it, just give yourself some time, take some time to contemplate it and see how you feel about it before you respond rather than doing a knee-jerk reaction or even agreeing to something you actually don't want to do. So yeah, 
with those past connections popping up that's quite important and that can be even you know a family member you had a disagreement with years ago and all of a sudden boom they're in your face or something happens and you have to deal with them and things like that that's another typical aspect of mercury retrograde so i don't want to freak everybody out because it's not usually that major a deal um the last one i did have a few technical issues nothing too bad in the emotional or communication that was okay i just had a couple of technical things with um yeah like the lights on my vehicle stopped working and a few funny things like that so yeah just be aware of that and make sure you're not planning a huge change around with your technology at that time once again don't freak out about it like i said just make sure you've got backups or other solutions in case things do go wrong they don't always it doesn't always happen that doesn't mean there's going to be absolute mayhem there's just a slightly higher likelihood of those sort of things going on so yeah um i remember the year that my website well got trashed twice and I was very much in the I don't believe in Mercury retrograde <laughs> mode at the time. But it was just insane. I built this whole website. And then I asked my web hosting company to move it. And it went really wrong. And it was a huge mess. So I had to delete all that. Restore my old website. Rebuild it again. And then I tried to move it. <laughs> and the same thing happened. But... <clears throat> but then luckily I'd backed my files up so it only took a couple of days to to recreate it and then very carefully move it onto my domain. Bit of a learning curve that one. <laughs> um, so I am a little bit more aware of Mercury retrograde now than I was but honestly it's not that bad. Don't get fearful. Fear tends to attract to us what we really don't want. So don't get into a place of fear, get into a place of just being organised and being prepared. If you've got important stuff in your computer, run a backup. Same with your phone, photos, things like that. Um, yeah, make sure your vehicle's in good running order. Bits like that are a good idea. With contracts and things like that, it's just, it's not a matter of, oh gosh, don't go there, don't sign them. It's a matter of just reading them carefully and giving yourself some time to to look through it um, and then it'll be fine so yeah it's not absolute mayhem there's just a slight energy glitch where things can go a little bit bizarre <clears throat> in the world and it doesn't have to be too bad at all sometimes some i don't know how it works some mercury retrogrades i've cruised through it nothing's happened um some yeah things can have gone a little bit flunky on me usually more with electronics and stuff like that that's usually my my thing that starts glitching a bit so yeah I have run a backup on my laptop and I've backed up my website and I've done all that stuff so should anything happen which hopefully it won't and it doesn't need to you know I can easily restore things so yeah so that's my little chat about mercury retrograde i really don't want to make people fearful of it it is only um a planetary influence and things like that and it doesn't need to rule our lives but being a little bit prepared is quite helpful so you know for example if your phone has a glitch and you need to get a new one or get it repaired if you've got all your stuff from your phone backed up then it's quite a smooth and easy transition so yeah so anyway have a good time through all of this it's not all negative mercury retrograde is also a really good time to actually revisit the past and if people from the past do turn up it's a good time to clear any kind of unsettled energy there or issues there and to change that whole scenario into something more positive and more empowering to you, which could be as simple as saying to somebody, well, actually, no, I'm not really interested in <laughs> working through some things with somebody. So it's, it's a really good time for that, for revisiting things like that, that maybe need clearing up, sorting out, 
So, yeah, it's a really good time for that. Um, so not all negative. Good time to grow. Good time to move forward. Good time to put the past to rest or to revisit it. This time of the year, maybe even looking back over the year and reflecting a little bit on that um, is a good move. But, yeah, once again, don't overdo it. So, yeah, anyway... Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and make any comments. I'd be really interested to hear how other people have found previous Mercury retrogrades and what sort of bizarre things have happened in your lives. I'd love to hear that in the comments below. If you like this video and want to hear more about things like this, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video and lots of love.